Welcome to In Bed with Natasha during this Alta uh, Moda Roma special edition. I'm here with Hans Foyer. I've pronounced it properly. Foyer. Foyer. Okay, that's Foyer. Right. Foyer. Because <laughs> I want to say Führer as what we were saying we were talking about before, which is how a British person would pronounce your surname. You can just call me Hans. It's okay. Easier. Hans is so much easier and I feel more comfortable already. Well, but one of the things though, we will go beyond your name is that you're for me a legendary photographer legendary so it's a real pleasure to have you here on the bed here at the Hotel Flora here in Rome and you're here for a special occasion here during the Alta Moda Roma because you're here to have an exhibition which uh, we are happy to be at mm -hmm. tonight can you tell me a little bit more about uh, how this all came about well it's, it's quite a story well you know I've been a photographer since uh, 1960 uh, end of 68 I started really as a photographer uh, and um, uh, of course working uh, until very recently with film um, and I've never I've, I've always liked to do pictures for mass communication you mm. know uh, I liked uh, the pictures to be seen by a lot of people you know mm. and I only, always understood it as a sort of communication mm. in inspiring people give them ideas why yes. not so, so, uh, do it in another way and all that and uh, I never thought of uh, my photos as art you know I still don't you know but it so happens that over all these years a few uh, pictures seem to have uh, taken uh, a certain importance and seem to have influenced people also uh, I noticed that uh, quite a, a lot of photographers uh, probably because they liked it they, they, they sort of copied it yes. uh, or were inspired by it you know so I thought finally I should really do a book as well I never wanted to do a book because they, I think there's too many photo books around everybody who, uh, has a book. with a camera <laughs> thinks he has to do a book you know and uh, of course every every picture is unique and it's a uh, one wants to preserve it and show it to everybody but I think there's too many photographic books well, that's anyway. very modest of you have to say <laughs> but I mean I think we should tell the you know everybody here that one of the things you're most famous for uh, from your beginning of your career is all the campaigns you did and the work you did with Kenzo for example, so for yeah. example yeah, and yeah. especially now that there's a lot of talk about this because Kenzo mm. is having again let's call it a second renaissance maybe in terms of campaigns of photography so now it's big looking yeah. through yeah. the history of what happened and mm -hmm. I know that your photographs were very pioneering in that moment working with certain uh, images you photographed some of the most beautiful women in the world that's true uh, Kenzo is special because well he's of course become a very good friend of mine and uh, uh, I loved what he did fashion wise at the time he was the first of the Japanese uh, stylists yes. came to Paris and to yes. Europe you know and uh, he from the beginning mixed influences from all different cultures yes. uh, and uh, I always liked that uh, yes and uh, so when he asked me at the time uh, to do some pictures for him he gave me completely uh, what the how the french call it carte blanche you know mm. i i said to him at the time uh, do you mind for example if i just do a close-up of an eye uh, he said sure you do what you want you know and uh, so i was very free you know yes. and I, I i tried to interpret a little bit his spirit the way he yes. went about it and all that and that was extremely uh, satisfying uh, work for me of course you know and for some some reason then it became sort of uh, typical for my pictures and people remember them you know uh, one, of the, one of the things that I was reading that's really interesting is that you know the work that you were doing at the time wasn't photoshopped it was you know you were it was as you're working then that we didn't have the technology at the time no, no. so and obviously now you've seen so much mm. changing has your mm. own photography changed have you become adopted mm. the digital uh, <laughs> it made, uh, di digital made my life easier. I was very uh, reluctant to change, you know, yes. and I held on to film for as long as possible until Kodak stopped making the kind of yeah, film I like and all this, and so I had to change. And uh, at first I was really unhappy about it, but now I'm very happy about it because it gives me more possibilities and I still work in the same sort of way. I don't use uh, Photoshop and don't uh, overly touch pictures like everybody does because I try to uh, communicate sensuality. And yes, I like exactly. to, uh, in a picture, I like you to, to feel that it's a, a human being, a live person, uh, well, uh, yeah. almost smell. Uh, but the women 
never looked person, more beautiful you know? before. Yeah. The, yeah. It's not that technology and the Photoshop, because right now mm. there's huge disputes right now, especially with the latest cover mm. of Vogue America, all about Photoshopping. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, mm. and I thought it was interesting to mm. meet with you today and discuss the fact that mm. the photos that you took of the women, they were so uh, magnificent, you know, beautiful and raw, but there, there was beauty there. there. There wasn't a need for that. Mm. I mean, why do you think, uh, how much do you feel fashion photography has changed today? And is it more about the people, more about the clothes? I mean, what is the communication going on in the current mood? Well, I think you'd have to talk to somebody <laughs> else about it. I mean, I myself uh, try to kind of make uh, my pictures very real, you know, yes. and I try to kind of make it smell of human beings and life and nature and all that. Um, anyway, uh, this thing about the book is that um, I've, I've started with, uh, with uh, digital um, about ten years, eight years okay. ago. Uh, and I decided to do a book with all the pictures I'd done before digital. Okay. And uh, so in this book, all those pictures are practically unretouched. I mean, of course, when you had to scan it, you yes. know, you, you had to readapt colors and all that. So that's uh, the minimum. But they're not really retouched, you know. And this is quite a, quite nice in this day and age to see a series of pictures that are the way they are and the way they were taken exactly, yes. you know, and well, not, not manipulated. Absolutely. We say all the great photographers, but I mean, there's still room for mm. books like this. So I think it's really fantastic mm. that you're doing that. Can you tell us a little bit about the work that you're currently doing? Uh, it's the same sort of thing, you know. I love women, you know, and uh, I love sensuality in every form, not only sexually, but uh, in yes. every form. Uh, and so I still do the same. I try to kind of show, I do, I'm a fashion photographer. Yes. Uh, and I try to uh, make you feel that there's somebody alive, you know, yes. and that you can almost smell it. And that's really all I do. It's as simple as that. Do you think there's the same amount of sensuality in fashion today as there was? It's different, you know. Um, I think let's have a look at it in 10 years and thinking back, you know. At, at the moment, I think it's uh, everything goes, you know. It's, it's become a huge, big industry. And, uh, there is no no definite style or direction. Uh, it's it's a bit of a mess, you know. Honestly, yeah. you know. Do you ever feel that sense of competition when you're competing with other young emerging photographers coming through? And you know, when you have a long span career, you have to. Uh, what do you do to keep what you do exciting, interesting, and research? Do you feel it's best to keep doing what you do all the time, or? I honestly don't look very much what others are doing. Of course, I look through magazines and so on and see a little bit, but. Uh, uh, I try to just kind of do my thing, yes. you know. I try to make it real and make it come alive, you know. Yes. And uh, uh, that's all. No, I'm not into any trends or any mm. all that, and that's why my pictures today seem to still look the same as. Uh, 20, 30 years ago, Which you know, uh, and I hope uh, <laughs> that doesn't mean that they are just very old-fashioned, but no. they are just very real, you know, if it's real, it's real, you know, it's not, there's no, no, no trend or tendency in it, you know, it's just what it is. You yes, know? and you're still yeah. traveling a lot around the world. I do, I do, I, but I don't work so much, you know, I work maybe a third of the time. Do you think? And the rest I have, uh, I have another passion, that is uh, African art. Yes. And um, I had sort of stopped uh, photography around about 98 or so and then spent about six years uh, practically all the time mm. in Cameroon oh, and wow. Congo and West Africa oh. mainly and wow. all over Africa and uh, collected uh, a lot of interesting objects, wow. you know, and that's something that I, I, I love and is my passion, you know, so Fantastic. I uh, spent quite a bit of time with that. You said to me mm. before that you're working and now on video and film. Not at all. Not at all? I thought I you were doing it. No, 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 I, I, I work obviously with a, with a uh, I don't work with films anymore, yes. you know. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So just basically the photography. Mm -hmm. okay. That's all. That's, that's fine, that's enough. <laughs> <Sounds like it's laughs> so you're talking about that you live in Switzerland, you're back a resident now in Switzerland, mm -hmm. you decided to, what was the choice to go back to your home country? <laughs> well, the reasons are family, I have two sons, you know, yes. who are now grown up and um, uh, I have a lot of friends there and it's a good country to live, you it's know, a good place and since I don't have to be anywhere near where I work, I do all my work on trips, uh, that's okay, yes. you know? I feel very comfortable there. 
so a nude place. Yeah. So we're going to be there this evening then at your exhibition. We thank you so much for being here and I'll be looking forward to getting your book. Thank you. <laughs> I hope I can request a signed copy. <laughs> uh, with pleasure. With pleasure. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Mm. Bye. <laughs>